Hello and welcome back. This video is one of the parts of the first pre-lab tutorial. The other two parts are the video on the breadboard prototyping and circuit schematics and the video on resistor color codes. In the laboratory, second from the left on your workbench, you will find the two instruments that are the eyes and the ears of the electrical engineer, the multimeter and the oscilloscope. Today's video is about the multimeter. The multimeter is five instruments in one box. It is a continuity tester, a frequency counter, an ohmmeter, an ammeter, and a voltmeter, both in DC and in the AC. Versatile, right? Indeed, but delicate at the same time. One's full step, and we end up with a very dead multimeter in our hands. On the left of the instrument, we notice two color-coded probes a black probe and a red one. The black probe is always plugged to the low left socket on the front panel. That is easy to remember, but the red probe has three possibilities. The two on the right, 10 amps, and 100 milliamps are used exclusively to measure currents, that is, when we are using the multimeter as an ammeter. In all the other four functions, the red probe needs to be plugged in up here, top left socket, the socket identified with the letter V and the Greek letter omega. Once we have ensured that the red probe is in the correct socket for the function of the instrument that we need, we turn the equipment on. Wait for a few seconds for the display to stabilize itself and then we press one of the function buttons on the selection panel, right on the front of the instrument. See them? This one for continuity tester, this one for ohmmeter, this other one for frequency counter, voltmeter in DC, voltmeter in AC, ammeter in DC, and ammeter in AC. Easy, huh? Let's visit these five functions one at a time commencing with the continuity tester. First, with the instrument off, verify that the red probe is up here. Second, turn the multimeter on. And third, press this key to select the buzzer, which, uh, by the way, is another name for the continuity tester, a buzzer. We use the continuity tester, or buzzer, to check that two points in our circuit are actually joined by a piece of metal like a cable or a multi-clip in a breadboard or a copper path in a printed circuit board. For instance, we use it to check that a jumper cable is not broken inside the insulation jacket. Or if we think that two current paths in a printed circuit board are shorted by a lump of solder, we use the buzzer. How? We connect each probe to one of the two suspected points, and if the buzzer goes off with an annoying bzzz, those two points are connected by a metallic, low-resistant path. A very simple but very useful instrument. Mm -hmm. 